Guys, in case you missed the massive news this week, we just got a huge upgrade for the Ethereum network. We've seen the rollout of the long-awaited Layer 2 scaling solutions that we've been talking about for months on this YouTube channel. People are calling this the broadband moment for Ethereum, much like the early days of the internet when we went from dial-up to broadband and completely opened the realm of possibility for what you could do with the internet. Because this is going to make Ethereum way faster and cheaper to use. And in this video, I'm going to break it down, tell you everything you need to know, and actually show you a demo of an app that's running on top of Layer 2 to Ethereum and you'll see exactly how fast and cheap it is. It's just crazy. It's going to blow your mind. And then I'll show you how to do the same thing and also some things to watch out for and, you know, just be careful about. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to become a blockchain master step by step, start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right. So let me give you a quick recap on what's going on here before I do this demo. So let's start off with a summary of what what happened. So essentially Uniswap, one of the most popular applications on top of Ethereum, just launched on top of a layer two scaling solution called Optimism. Okay, so I'm gonna break that down, tell you what that means, and then show you the demo about how you can actually do this in a minute and witness it for yourself. But basically, let's start off with a layer two. So what is a layer two? Well, it's this second layer built on top of Ethereum where you can do transactions that are eventually settled on top of the main Ethereum chain. And so why do you need it in the first place? Well, I guess complaints about Ethereum that it's too slow, it's too expensive, like nobody's ever going to use this technology. And some people are worried that you have to wait for ETH 2.0, that's some, you know, long time away before you can actually make Ethereum faster, but that's not actually true. You can do it right now with layer two scaling solutions and get these performance benefits, you know, immediately. You don't have to wait for ETH 2.0 to ship in order for this to get better. And so now why I think this is such a big deal that Uniswap has done this is because, like I said, Uniswap is one of the most popular applications on top of Ethereum because it provides one of the most you know, popular use cases, financial speculation, where you can trade in and out of different cryptocurrencies in a decentralized way with a DEX. And one of the biggest problems in Uniswap in the past is, you know, new traders who don't have a lot of money to trade were priced out of doing transactions. And so now Uniswap has deployed to Optimism, which is the specific layer two scaling solution that they're working on top of. This is called optimistic rollups, where basically you take all the activity and you batch it up and you include it on the chain. They've deployed Uniswap version three to Optimism to where people can trade for way fewer fewer fees. It's going to be a lot faster, and a lot cheaper, which I'm going to show you here right now in this demo. All right, so now let's talk about how you can actually use this and see the benefit in real time. So make sure you watch this entire demo before you do this, because there are some caveats and some gotchas, which I'll go over after I do the actual demo itself. But let's look at the architecture here about how this works. So normally, if you're using Ethereum, you're connected to layer one. And, you know, since Uniswap's launched on top of Optimism, it's now on layer two. That's what this is here. Um, and so in order to use Optimism, you actually have to move your funds from, you know, Ethereum over to the Optimism environment. OK, so for this demo, I just created a new Ethereum wallet here, transferred in, you know, just like $20 worth of Ether just to play around with, to test it out. But what I have to do is actually take this these funds and transfer them from Ethereum up to Optimism. So I do that with um, this bridge here or this gateway. So basically, there's an Optimism gateway that lets you do this transfer. You just use the gateway to move your funds from Ethereum up to Optimism. Again, if you're going to do this, you should definitely do it with a small amount of money that you can always lose in case something goes wrong. But you would just connect your wallet here. Select MetaMask. Once you selected your account, you just click Connect. And now you want to select how much you know, Ether that you want to deposit um, to Optimism from the Ethereum mainnet. So I'm just going to do the max amount for now. Again, this is just a test wallet with just a small amount of funds. If I lose all this money, it's not a big deal. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do less because it's going to do gas fees too. So let's just do like 2.005 Ether here. So I'm just going to deposit about $10. Click Confirm. All right, and so whenever that's done, you'll see your transaction confirmation here at Etherscan. So just for me, it took a few minutes for this transaction to get confirmed, and that is a that's a little bit of a bottleneck to getting you know started with Optimism. It costs a little bit of money and takes a little bit of time to get onto Optimism, but once you're on the in the, inside the ecosystem, the transactions are much faster and cheaper. And so I'll show you that right now. All right, so now if we want to actually use Optimism and you know see our Ether balance inside of our wallet then we have to connect to it. And so that's how it works. Basically, like I said before, you know, Uniswap works on layer one Ethereum and it works on Optimism. So if you go to the Uniswap website, then you'd be using Uniswap on top of layer one Ethereum, but we want to use it on Optimism and actually see our Ether balance in our wallet for the, you know, the funds we just deposited. So what we do is actually point our MetaMask to Optimism instead. Now, you don't see uh, Optimism by default here inside of your settings. So you can go down here and do custom RPC. All right, you can create a new network here called Optimism. 
And I'm actually going to copy these from the uh, tutorial on Uniswap's website here. I'll actually put a link to this down in the resources in the video description below, so you can copy and paste these if you want to. We'll actually paste in this mainnet, the optimism.io here from the documentation as the RPC URL. We can do chain ID of 10, currency symbol of ETH. And then for block explorer URL, this is optional. I'm going to do optimistic.etherscan.io. So this will basically be the Etherscan version for Optimism where you can see like all your transaction confirmations. All right, once that's done, you can go back over to Uniswap and you can see that you're connected to optimism and if you check your wallet balance here you can see that you have um you know your your ether funds inside and of course they have some instructions here on how to deposit to optimism i guess you could just click these uh instructions for that gateway just like i showed you before so now i'm actually going to demo a swap and show you how fast it is okay so we're just going to swap a dollar so i can put a dollar and die as a destination amount um and so i can just click swap and you can click confirm swap Sign the transaction in MetaMask, and then see how fast and cheap this is. So swaps already finished. <laughs> All right, so we can see the transaction confirmation uh, has happened before uh, we even go to refresh the page. So boom, that's how fast Optimism is compared to Etherscan. So if you're bridging over to Optimism, it took you know over a minute, or if you're trading uh, on top of Ethereum layer one, then it would easily take you over a minute, and you're gonna pay a gas fee that's way higher than what you've currently paid on top of Optimism. And so there you go. This is absolutely crazy. This is basically taking Ethereum from you know kind of the slow, expensive way of making transactions to blazingly fast transactions with much lower fees. Now, I want to talk about some caveats and some things you need to be careful about right now before you go try to do this yourself. So the first thing you have to understand is this is not the exact complete scaling solution as it's going to be in the future. It still has some limitations involved. So what I really want to show you in this video today is see how fast that transaction could be compared to how it works on Ethereum today. But there's still some bottlenecks that are going to be improved upon, you know, as this technology gets better. Regardless, this is a major leap forward. So the first thing you have to understand is how the fees work. So basically, Basically, this is a whitelisted launch for certain developers, and it's a bit of a controlled environment. And some people say, hey, it's not very decentralized. Well, this is one of those situations where we're releasing something that is more centralized initially and can become more decentralized over time. So definitely understand that before you take part in this. But one sort of bottleneck with this initial release are the fees. So with this release, they're enforcing fees in Optimistic Ethereum, and they have chosen sort of a bottleneck of 50,000 transactions per day at launch. And they have, you know, an EIP 1559 like conjection pricing mechanism. That'll be ramped up over time. And so what that means for now is the fees will be better, but they won't be like, you know, near zero. So you can see here when I did my dollar swap, it still cost me a dollar, but this can even get better over time. And even as is like a dollar per swap is way cheaper than if you were trading tokens on layer one Ethereum, you know, with high ether prices and also high gas prices. So the next thing you have to understand if you're going to actually use real funds over here is that there is some potential unplanned downtime. Okay, now you might say that's crazy. Why would you have downtime on a blockchain? But again, this is one of those things where we have something that's getting set up. We have something that's getting set up in a production environment with sort of some guardrails on it. They're probably going to get removed over time. So you could have unplanned downtime in an environment like this. And we also have some future planned downtime. So you definitely be careful if you're putting any real funds on here. And something you have to understand for Uniswap is when you go trade tokens, you're not going to have the full network effect of all the tokens that exist on Uniswap layer one. You're going to be limited to a certain number of tokens for now. And if you're trying to trade a large amount of money, it may not have as much liquidity as you would like. And so your price of your trades might suffer as a result. But this this is definitely something that can improve over time, especially as we see maybe new incentives to move and provide liquidity on layer two. All right, now the last thing you need to understand is um, that when you deposit funds onto Optimistic Ethereum, then there's going to be a delayed time period before you can actually take them off of Optimism. So I showed you how to basically move from Ethereum over to Optimism. That was pretty fast, but moving the other direction off of Optimism onto Ethereum can take seven days. Now you might be thinking like, hey, that's an absolute deal breaker. Like, why would anybody want to do this in the first place? Well, again, like I was saying, this is an initial implementation of this, and we do have some solutions for this down the road. So one of them I have here on my screen is something that MakerDAO is working on where they can announce an Optimism die bridge with fast withdrawals. So basically it can speed up and you can bypass that seven day with withdrawal time time and do it way, way faster. And so another potential option is just using centralized exchanges as they start to, you know, support optimistic Ethereum. You could transfer funds to an exchange and then, you know, get out of optimism that way and you have your funds and probably bypass those withdrawal times. Now, I don't 
know the exchanges and necessarily support optimistic Ethereum yet. It'll probably be some time before those things roll out, but those are definitely some caveats that you need to watch out for. All right, so that's an introduction to how you can use layer two scaling solutions for Ethereum with optimism with Uniswap. Again, this is a major use case. This is a huge milestone because, you know, adoption for crypto and innovation really jumps in leaps. And in my opinion, we just took a massive leap forward. Will it take some time for like the, everything else to kind of catch up and make this a lot better? It's totally true. We need some things to improve upon here. We need better liquidity on top of Uniswap for this layer two. We need wider support of layer two on exchanges. We need these withdrawal bridges, improve all this stuff that I'm talking about. But this is a situation where you have to recognize the massive advancement that just took place and sort of wait for these other things to catch up with it, which I do think will happen in time. And I'm standing by my initial prediction that I made back in January, which is I think we'll see wide layer two support roll out this year. And this is the initial phase of that. So I hope you like this video. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already that really helps these videos out so the more people can learn about blockchain like anytime you you know click that like button you know youtube's based on engagement uh so the more people click the like button the more youtube says hey you like the video and it shows it to more people so if you're as fascinated with this technology as i am you want to get your hands dirty how can you get started today you can go to my youtube homepage. you can find any of my free courses there they're like udemy courses but they're totally free and if you like those and you went to the next step or hey maybe you want to take a massive shortcut entirely and you know i can show you become a blockchain master step by step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp you don't have to be an expert to get started today. I tell people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.